Hello guys, welcome to my third tutorial for setting up a Google Map page using Symfony 2 and NetBeans. I have already created a project called PHP Project 1 and also a bundle in that called My Test Bundle. I have defined a root for the map page which execute the index action inside the default controller which in turn renders the index.html page. This HTML page contains a block called container and it also extends the base twig which is empty right now. For more details on creating a PHP project in NetBeans using Symfony, you can refer to my first video which explains the process in detail. Now we can proceed with uh, creating our project. For this I will be using the W3 school resource which, which gives a Google map tutorial which is very useful. So we can start by copying the code given there and pasting that in our base html we can define the block container which we use in our html twig inside this base body and the division for map we can place it inside our container now what is left to do is uh, to provide the api key this is to be given in the API reference script. This key can be obtained from the Google API console. code.google.com slash api slash console. We can use this key, key for browser with app and uh, paste it in our API reference key. Just make sure that uh, the Google API version 3 service is on as I am using this API in my project. Now we can go ahead and paste the key in our path. Now we have our project almost ready and we can go ahead with testing it in our browser. So if we run we should be able to see the map. Yes we are able to see it. Now what we have is a static map uh, which points to a location which is mentioned in the base html javascript which we have copied from the w3 school resource. Now in order to make this a dynamic map, what we can do is uh, define two variables latitude and longitude. Mm, I may give some value minus 24 and also a longitude. I can give it as 142. I just hope that this points to some land area so that we can see that in our map. Now we can pass these variable to the twig. We will have to pass both latitude and longitude. Now we have what we have to do is read both these variable in our index.html.twig. For that, uh, we can define a variable uh, sorry input input tag in which we can accept the variable we will give the id as lat and uh, type as hidden we don't want to see that in our map page now we can access this variable using the value property and uh, use the twig property that is latitude which we have passed from the controller we will also be requiring the longitude value so we can uh, copy paste this and use another input for getting the longitude value to make sure that we have both the values in our page we can remove the hidden tag and try running our page so we should be able to see this value right now yes now we can put the hidden tag back now to read this value in the base html or the javascript we can define two variables and use the document dot get element by id property and give the id of the input here now 
now we can pass these two variables to the map function so that it points to our latitude and longitude now now we can test this in our browser it's not displaying the map right now it must be due to some error uh, it might be not be obtaining the correct latitude and longitude values yeah i have given the id as lat itself so i'll make that long and now try running the map yes now it's pointing to our new location we have now a map for which we can set the latitude and longitude using our controller now we can add some features to the map uh, many features are explained in the w3 school website uh, we can maybe add a marker to our map so we can copy paste this code or we'll try the animated marker we can copy paste this code to our project we will have to uh, add a variable called my center where the marker is to be added to define this ma marker variable we can copy paste that code from that and add it to our code now we can set the marker to our uh, defined latitude and longitude position and now we can go ahead and run our map page which should now have an animated marker yes that's working too so now you can go ahead and test various properties of map and various customization you can do most of them are available in the w3 school website so thank you guys for watching this video have a nice day